The entire world has been waiting and watching for months, as Ukraine gears up for a significant counter-offensive in its conflict with Russia. That conflict is currently taking place, contrary to expectations. In its counter-offensive in the country's southeast, Ukraine claimed modest victories on Tuesday. Finding a way to breach Russian defenses is essential to Ukraine's hopes of regaining the vast portions of its territory, loosing to the Russian infiltration last year. Ukrainian forces, newly equipped and trained by Western allies, have retaken another two small villages and settlements after a week of intense fighting with infantry, artillery, and tanks across largely agricultural surroundings. About four miles was the dimension of the deepest advance. The effectiveness of the strikes Ukraine launched last week across a significant portion of the front line would not be known for weeks or even months, according to military analysts. Although they have crossed the initial defensive positions along a portion of the front and are still searching for Russian weak spots, Ukrainian forces are still a distance away from Russia's primary defensive lines. According to locals and Russian military bloggers, Ukrainian forces appear to be retaking more of the river island chains and marshy banks surrounding the southern town of Kherson in an apparent expansion of Ukraine's counteroffensive. At the same time, Russian troops on the eastern bank already widely recognized as the left bank, have reportedly started stealing sizable infrastructure items, including windmills, as a possible sign that they are getting ready to flee, according to Ukrainian officials. Before making significant moves or adjustments, the Russians are gone now wait to see whether the Ukrainians start making significant gains according to U.S. authorities and military analysts. Minefields, pits, anti-tank ditches, airstrikes, and artillery fire have all already been encountered by Ukrainian forces. Both military's efforts have also been hampered by last week's bad weather, which prevented heavy armored vehicles from traversing muddy fields. Military analysts have predicted that Ukraine's multifaceted counteroffensive will use probing strikes and fines while holding the majority of the attacking force in reserve, searching for a weakness before throwing its strength in that direction. The new fully trained brigades are expected to assist Ukraine in breaching Russian defenses taking back some of the nearly 20% of its territory that the Russians currently hold, and possibly cutting off the land bridge that connects Russia to the tactfully significant Crimea. According to defense officials, the Pentagon will send further munitions to Ukraine from its storage facilities, including artillery ammunition, guided rockets for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, Stinger and Patriot air defense missiles, and guided rockets.